Welcome to Enter the Unknown. My name is FJ, and we're here today to finish our journey with the Worst Diverse team. If you haven't seen the first video with them, then I recommend you check out the video linked in the description. I said we'd go through with the Steven battle if it was requested, and quite a few people wanted it, so we got Amaranth, Halo, Elmer, Jaws, Wings, and Eccles up to level 78, and we're now ready to take on Steven Stone inside Meteor Falls. We've had a couple of slide updates to our moveset since our induction into the Hall of Fame, so let's look at them. Amaranth's Blizzard has been replaced by Waterfall so we can reach Steven, but other than that, her moveset's unchanged. For this battle, she's holding Mystic Water. Halo's still got Hyper Beam, Shadow Ball, Confuse Ray, and Dig, and it's holding the Quick Claw. Elmer's moveset has seen Dragon Rage upgraded to Nightshade, and Double Team replaced by Sand Attack. Jaws has learned Fire Blast in place of Sludge Bomb, which will surely be more useful against a team with three Steel types. I don't completely understand why Mawile can learn Fire Blast, Focus Punch, Ice Beam, Sludge Bomb, and Solar Beam, yet is incapable of learning a single Steel type attack. But I just have to spend a second picturing a Firestorm cascading from the Black Jaws on the back of Mawile's head to completely forget about that weirdness. Mawile is so damn cool. Oh yeah, back to the point. Jaws is holding Charcoal. Wing's four moves haven't changed, but she's been given some Never Melt Ice for this battle. You'll be shocked to know that Eccles' moveset hasn't changed either. Just hidden power. At least we've now got the magnet to boost it a small bit. With all of that out of the way, let's go shatter Steven Stone. The Rock Collector- They're minerals! Jesus, Maria! Okay, sorry, Hank. The Mineral Collector leads off with his Skarmory. At level 77, the Steel Flying type has Toxic, Aerial Ace, Spikes, and Steel Wing. With only average special defense, Eccles is able to take advantage and knock out the Metallic Bird in just two hits. Unknown does get hit by Toxic in the process, though. Next up for Steven is his level 76 Cradley. The Rock Grass type has Ancient Power, so I don't want to throw Wings right into the action. Instead, we send in Amaranth to use Attract, and hopefully we can Cradley enough for Wings to one-shot him. After Love Disc is confused, I'm happy to switch into Wings knowing Cradley will use a Grass type attack. Delibird eats up a Giga Drain and then takes out the Tentacle Monster with Ice Beam. I don't know if Wings could have one-shotted Cradley from full health, but I'd rather play it safe than lose Delibird early in this battle. That proves to be a good decision when a crit Ice Beam eliminates Claydol in one hit. It was level 75 and it's… well, I suppose that doesn't really matter now. Armaldo is up next for the former champion, but the ancient Pokemon is no competition for Amaran. Two crashing waves of Love Disc Surf wipe out Armaldo after he gets off one Ancient Power. Steven's penultimate Pokemon, Agron, is the only one on his team who can't damage Halo, so our strategy to take him on is obvious. It takes a few shots to take down Agron, but we're never in any danger of getting hit. With him down, the worst of our team has quite easily made it to Steven's final Pokemon, the star of his team, Metagross. The level 78 Steel Psychic pseudo-legendary robot has clear body, meaning we can't lower any of its stats. That could be a problem. We lead off with Elmer and paralyze it with Thunder Wave. Then we try to use Sand Attack to make this easier, but unbeknownst to me, clear body counts accuracy as a stat, so Sand Attack fails. Metagross obliterates Elmer with Meteor Mash. It does feel like it'll probably be able to one-shot all of the worst of our team. The plan is to weaken Metagross to a point where we can knock it out in one shot without letting its HP get low enough for Steven to use a full restore. Eccles gets to work using Hidden Power, and thanks to Paralysis, it's able to take Metagross down to about 30% health before heroically sacrificing itself. With Steven's best Pokemon now in one shot range, we have a choice to make. I end up picking Jaws and his Fire Blast over Halo Shadow Ball because of Metagross's high defense. The explosive blaze burns up Metagross, and the worst of our team have officially conquered the most powerful trainer in Hoenn. We only lost two Pokemon in the climactic battle, which is honestly kind of impressive. I thought this battle would be next to impossible, but somehow it wound up being fairly easy. This team is truly unstoppable. With that, we're finally done with this challenge, and it's time for a rest. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.